inflicted on the prisoners. Please, inmates of Attica versus Rockefeller, 433. Second, 12th Circuit, 1971. Since Attica, the role of the carceral strength of its over 11 million people in custody on parole or some other form of supervised
of our oppressors to dismantle capitalism's wage theft slavery, economic system, transfer oligarchy class power to the poor, to the people, to the oppressed who have always produced all social wealth by their blood, sweat, tears, and lives. Long live the memory of the Attica Prison Rebellion. Long live the memory of the Attica Prison Rebellion. Long live the memory of the Attica Prison Rebellion. Long live the Attica of the Attica Prison Rebellion. Long live the memory of the Attica Prison Rebellion. Long live the memory of the Attica Prison Rebellion. Long live the memory of the Attica Prison Rebellion. Long live the memory of the Attica Prison Rebellion. Long live the Attica Prison Uprising Murder. Long live the Attica Prison Uprising Murder. Long live the Attica Prison Uprising Murder. That one just rolls off the tongue. For human rights. Support the national prisoner movement for human rights. Support the national prisoner movement for human rights. 1823. And by another unit. Both directions. Four score and seven years ago. It's almost three o'clock. It's uh. Dismantle wage tax slavery under capitalism. Got time. All power to the people. All power to the people. All power to the oppressed. All power to the oppressed. Okay, so tell me what's going on, dude. So we're out here at the TCI distribution uh, and uh, local headquarters. TCI is the Texas Correctional Industries. They uh, they are responsible for, for producing uh, goods with prison labor. Uh, they run the factories and the prisons, and here they distribute the goods that are made in prisons uh, for either 15 cents an hour or nothing. Um, and since ending prison slavery is one of the demands of the of the strikers who are going on a national prison strike starting today, uh, we are here at uh, the TCI headquarters. I think we pretty effectively shut them down for the day. Um, they've got caution tape over the, both of their driveways. We've got a bunch of rena cops out here. Uh, they've locked the front door, so if anybody wanted to come and like do business during office hours, they are unable to do that. Yeah. Do they get a lot of traffic though? I've never even knew this place was here. Yeah, well, so... I just talked to a guy going to the apartments, getting off the bus. He didn't know this place was here. He lives across the street. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it's pretty, as you can see, it's a pretty, like, unassuming... Yeah. Uh, Stonewall thing. Yeah, and the regular marquee doesn't have it listed, anything about it, yeah. other than protection, criminal justice and police here. They have their own marquee that you have to look at to so, see that it's... Exactly. Yeah. And they make park furniture? What are they making? So they, in there, in there on display, they have office furniture, they have like tires, they have clothing. Uh, some of our people went and took a tour a couple weeks ago. And they just have like basically the gamut of like prison made stuff. More or less anything like basic state. For consumers. For, 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 for the state. So they don't sell. So, in their own words, 
They said that they don't sell to private industry because they would just put everybody out of business. But basically, if you're in like a state office building, oh. the, the, the desks that you have, the chairs that you have, like the benches outside, were likely made using Texas Correctional Industries. So is this a park bench that made by inmates? Presumably, yeah. I, I wish, maybe, maybe you could come by on another day and get Tour some undercover, undercover footage, but okay. there's worlds on worlds. Or I could now. go streaking through that mother. Exactly. Streak, ah! Um, Fast track. I can get first-hand information from inside the prison after they arrest me. There you go. Yeah, there yeah. you go. <laughs> so well, the prison strike starts. We don't know if they're going to retaliate, if the states, the wardens are going to retaliate and the board of, of justice or criminal, whatever the hell, if the board, board of prisons, there's multiples. Are they going to like put them on a, on a forced uh, hunger strike as well? Are they going to starve them for not working? Well, so so one of the demands that we have, right, is, is no retaliation against anybody participating. Um, after the last wave of strikes in April and May in Texas, we did see some pretty heavy-handed retaliation, which looked like uh, preemptive lockdowns. Uh -huh. So in order to say that there wasn't a strike, they locked down the facility the day of or the day before it was announced that they were going to do it. Um, it basically just like kept everybody in their rooms, like took away like communication privileges, like all of that. Didn't they also not feed them? Uh, some of them like fed them like uh, pretty crappy rations, or like individuals. I think have been like have had their have had their food withdrawn. So they get um, when you're hungry, you get what? You get tired. You get tired. You slow down. You're thinking. They've they've, they've moved people around. It's a to form of psychological up. warfare to break people. If you watch Cool Hand Luke. Yeah, I actually, that was just on at a bar that I was at the other day, and I was watching him yeah. dig the ditch, and then the warden came back and get said, your what is, dirt what is out the dirt, other what boss is the dirt man's doing yard. in the boss man's ditch, yeah. you know? Even in the rain. And like, he said, I don't they, know. They're just trying to break it. You don't know. Them. Yeah. No, it was a pretty, it was a pretty intense. Um, so, uh, yeah, back in May, we got a report from a family member of one man who had uh, resisted a shakedown, the, 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 the field work had been canceled um, because of the rain, and so instead of field work, they they uh, yeah. So so instead of field work, they like shook down all the dorms, um, and uh, this guy and the rest of his unit resisted. Um, she might be crazier than me. <laughs> uh, the. Uh, Guessing that they were that they were rent a cops because we were guessing that they were rent a cops because they because they were like when we we moved in yeah we moved in to like deliver the demands uh -huh. and uh, they and they like crowded around us uh -huh. and they were like you better leave before the cops show up oh so they're not cops. so well, yeah. they might be so they might be security prison um like you know like. When we were over there, they, he said he was a county. He was with the board of county correctional. So yeah. it might be part of the board of county correctional's cops, but not the APD. So they may not have jurisdiction because it's really APD. They didn't like annex this or anything. This is yeah. their property. That, yeah. I mean, this is Austin's jurisdiction. And unless we're at a prison, I don't think those guys have real jurisdiction. Yeah, I didn't get to see like what their insignias look like, but they're just like... They look serious, though. They don't look like rent pigs They look like ex-military, like state-sponsored police force. Yeah. Um, and they, they were shying away from my camera really fast. They're all in um, non-tax-exempt vehicles. Uh, a couple of them look like personal vehicles, yeah. but, uh, but that 
there's a couple of them over there that look like state vehicles, but they don't have exempt plates, so it could be some kind of unmarked deal. They can bullshit you, but like, if you know, they know you're going to stand for your rights, I basically told them, y'all can arrest me or do whatever. I think it's going to be up to a judge as whether the First Amendment overrules your little thing going on, and they're like, all right, all right, all right. You know, like, yeah. they, they didn't tell me all right. They tell each other, uh, the commander or whatever tells the other ones. But yeah.